Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Curls Next Door here. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. So you guys, I wanted to share seven combos that I do have in front of me. These are combos that I put together and wore last week. And um, surprisingly, they were showstoppers. They smell so good on my skin. It radiated the entire time. They were beast mode. They were giving elegance. Some of them were just very fruity bombs and some of them were very juvenile, but I loved each and every single one of them. And of course, you know, I don't shy away from juvenile, little girly feminine things. I love it. That is never gonna change. So um, yeah, with that being said, if you wanna see the combos that I put together, placed on this body, and more out in these streets, please keep watching. So the first combo that I want to share with you started off with this Gucci Guilty Pore Femme Eau de Toilette. If you have seen a recent video of mine, um, I edit this to my collection not too long ago, probably about six weeks ago. And I picked this one up for a very, very good deal at $40 or $45 at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And it is definitely going to stay in my collection. Now, this one is a total 100% fruit chili, okay? It's filled with all different types of fruit and berries, but then there is definitely some patchouli in this. It is so strong, but the fruit mixed with the patchouli is blended so well. It just, it just carries for itself. I love this one. It's giving elegance and it's giving very mature. Now, I don't think a woman in her 20s will really, really probably not enjoy this one. I feel like if I were in my 20s, I wouldn't even reach for this. It's just really patchouli heavy. You have to be a patchouli lover in order to really, really appreciate and love this Gucci Guilty Pour Femme Eau de Toilette for what it's worth. It's just giving patchouli. Now this one opens up with a burst of oranges and pink pepper. It is very shocking to the nose, but then it subsides really, really quickly and the florals then set in. Now, surprisingly, I do not get a migraine from the geranium or the lilac or the jasmine in this. And it seems like to me and my nose, every time I wear a fragrance with the lilac, it kind of gives off a, a jasmine type of profile. So this is like double jasmine in this fragrance. I was able to go ahead and try this one out and really get a feel for whether I was going to like this Gucci Guilty Perfume Eau de Toilette. Now, because I was scared that maybe later on in the day I would get a headache, I went ahead and paired it up with none other than the Gingham Unstoppable by Bath & Body Works. Gingham Unstoppable has notes of fresh neroli, sparkling water, and clean musks. These two are very musky within itself. I don't know what it is about the Gingham Unstoppable. I don't know if it's the sparkling water in here that tamed and calmed this one down a lot. It just dumbed it down. It took it down a notch and it made it to where it was wearable. I wasn't able to get the florals. I wasn't able to um, to really have anything screechy going on on my skin. It was just the perfect combination for the day. It was so good. It was juicy. It was fruity, a little bit of citrus, and it was definitely giving Patchouli. I am not against patchouli. I love patchouli fragrances. So this was definitely a beautiful combination when it was paired together. Again, it is Gingham Unstoppable and Gucci Guilty Parfum Eau de Toilette. These two are amazing. Go ahead and try these out. I don't know what it is, like I said, but these two just worked hand in hand. They were perfect. And this one just took care of this one and just made it wearable. Love it. Try it. Let me know what you think. So the next day, which was Monday, I decided to go ahead and pull out 
this Miss Dior Eau de Parfum 2021 version. Mm, this one is so good. This one has some iris. There's some lily of the valley. There's peach. There's peony. There's rose. There's apricots, sandalwood, vanilla, tonka. I mean, that's just only a few notes. I wanted to amplify the fragrance on the skin a little bit longer because she only gives me at least three to four hours alone with no help but I wanted something that was longer lasting on my skin because I had a 10 hour work day. So I paired her up with Butterfly from Bath & Body Works where the notes are raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. I did not even plan on putting these two together. The notes were definitely sort of similar. They vibe in a very soft feminine manner and they just smell really alike to me and my nose. I don't know, but this was a very um, effortless type of fragrance combo when it was put together on my skin. Beautiful. I used the scrub in the shower. I used the shower gel and then all these just came together and it gave me probably about eight hours on a 10 hour work day. That is with moderate projection. I love this. I love this combo. If you have this, go ahead and try it out. Let me know what you think. Miss Dior Eau de Parfum 2021 version and Butterfly from Bath & Body Works. Now on Tuesday, I decided to go in with something that was a little bit lighter because I was not feeling myself. I woke up feeling like lightheaded and I don't know if I was having a relapse of what I had the month before. I decided to go ahead and go in with the Glossier U because I felt like this was more, um, it's such an incredible your skin but better type of fragrance. It is um, definitely working every single time. It gives me um, a slightly different tinge, a different outlook, a different smell when it's on my skin. I never get the same scent profile whenever I wear Glossier U on my skin. One day I would smell like one thing if I wear it the next day. It depends on my skin chemistry, how much water I drank the day before or the night before, whether I consumed alcohol the night before, whether I exfoliated. It does work with your skin chemistry and it definitely gives you um, it projects from, from within. Okay. I don't know how else to explain it, but this is such an amazing perfume. I'm so happy that they came up with this. I don't know if they followed Bath and Body Works with Kaleidoscope or whether Kaleidoscope followed them. Okay. But this is good. I love it. Um, and I'm super happy to have Glossier U in my collection. Glossier U has Iris. There's Pink Pepper. There is Embroxin and there is some Musk Mallow in here. I love all the notes in here. The Iris doesn't give off a too powdery quality. It's just made right and it's made for my skin. And I love it. I do get always get asked what I'm wearing whenever I wear Glossier U by itself. So I know that my chemistry must be popping whenever I put this on. Just to help the fragrance last on the skin, just a little bit longer, of course, I went in with this Indigo Dreams from Bath & Body Works. I had another 10 hour day at work and I wanted to have something soft, but something with a little bit of a scent DNA on my skin to mix together with Glossier U. The fragrance notes are bergamot waters, glowing amber, and warm musks. These two are very warm, musky fragrances when they're on your skin. The only reason why I decided to do Indigo Dreams is because it has a very slight, very soft, very um, welcoming DNA from BR540. And I thought that maybe if I put these two together, I can have that scent on my skin the entire day. And it worked out Perfect. This was an amazing combo. I really, really enjoyed this. This one brought me tons of compliments. And this one here, um, I will definitely use again in the future. I actually wore this again last Tuesday night after work. I took my shower and I layered it up with the 
shower gel and everything, the lotion, and I went in with Glossier U on top. I sprayed this and then I went under the covers and my husband had nothing but good things to say about this hair combo. He loved it and that's all that matters. So yeah, Indigo Dreams by Bath & Body Works and Glossier U Eau de Parfum was such an amazing combo for last Tuesday that I will definitely be wearing this one again in the future. Try it. Let me know what you think. Next, on Wednesday, I went in with Yara. Why not? She is so amazing. She's giving a lot of tropical fruitiness on the skin with some gourmand accords. Ah, it's so soft and it's so feminine. I don't know, I get a lot of tropical fruits in this one. And I don't know, but sometimes it depends on when I wear Yara, I would get a powderiness on my skin. This one, again, has like tropical fruitiness. There is some gourmand accords. There is some vanilla. There's sandalwood. Oh my gosh, there's orchid. I think there's some heliotrope in this one. And I think there is some musks. I could be wrong, but I know I get a muskiness sometimes. I don't always get it, but I do get it sometimes. And I'm super happy that I have it because she's feminine. She doesn't need a specific date or time to be on my body. So with that being said, I went in on Wednesday because I wanted to be a little bit more loud while I was at work. And I wanted to go ahead and pair her up with Covered in Roses. Covered in Roses has ruby berries, sugared rosebuds, and blush amber. These two together were so beautiful when they were on my skin. I loved it. It was the ultimate feminine combination when they were put together. This one, as we all know, is Delina, um, or the spin-off or the dupe for Delina, and she comes very, very, very close. Now, I do not own Delina, um, and I don't think I will ever get a full bottle of Delina, okay? I did have, at one point, a tester of it, and this is definitely 98, maybe 99% Delina on the dry down. It is super amazing. I feel like these two together were perfect. I got asked tons and tons of times from random people at work, the passengers on the aircraft. I mean, people at the airport just asked me what I was wearing. I gave them this combo. $25, $20. I mean, seriously, you can't get it better than this. What a perfect combination. When it's paired together, it gave milky florals on my skin. I don't know. I didn't get anything like tonic, but it was definitely very milky and it was tropical. It was giving very girly and feminine. Love this one. Try this one if you have it. Again, it's Yara and Covered in Roses together what a bomb combination so on to friday's combination i started off with this al harmain amber oud gold edition this is such a beautiful fruity very magnetic very charismatic very unisex leaning type of fragrance it has some florals in there but it's definitely a very beautiful fruity fragrance when it's all said and done this one has some bergamot this one has some green notes. There is also some type of sweet, beautiful candy in here. There is vanilla, there is musk, there is some amber. Um, I think there's some woody notes as well. It is definitely unisex leaning more on the masculine side, but I love it. You know, I love everything that's either very, very unisex, I don't shy away from it, or maybe a little bit masculine here and there because I don't shy away from that one either. I smell good either way, okay? I started off with the Amber Oud Gold Edition on my skin. Now, for some reason, since Tuesday, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather, so I felt like this was way too strong for me on this day. So I decided to dumb it down a little bit with this Summer Melody Fine Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works where the notes are golden honeydew and bronzed vanilla. This one and this one together are just the perfect pair. These two pairs together, oh, 
how absolutely amazing were they? The summer melody definitely just took this down six notches in one spray, okay? This is just an elevated, very fruity fragrance. It's melon and the pineapples mixed with the, the musks and the vanilla and all the good things are in this. And I feel like I'm gonna be reaching for this more over the next coming months. Um, now that it's warmer on the outside. I love this one. I've been reaching for this one. Um, I actually wear this one um, yesterday, I think. Yeah, I wore this one again on yesterday and um, I was able to turn heads with this one. I love them together. Amber Oud Gold Edition by Ola Hermain and Summer Melody by Bath & Body Works were definitely a hit. It's a beautiful combination. It's very, um, it's just good. Okay, go ahead and try this one. Now on Saturday, I was off and I took my daughter to her basketball game and um, I was just sitting there talking to the other parents, of course, because I love to talk. So one of them asked me what I was wearing and um, I didn't even go into, I didn't even try with this combo. I didn't try. I just put it on my skin headed out the door and we left because we had to drive an hour to get to one of her basketball games. And in that hour, this thing was just developing on my skin. I went in with the um, Kaid Alfresan Unlimited, and this is such a powdery, coconutty, very um, tropical type of fragrance. This one is so good, you guys. This one has some coconut, there's some citruses, there's pineapple, there's some frangipani, there's ylang ylang. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. I love this. This is such an underrated, very tropical, coconutty scent. The only thing about this is that she is thick. Okay, she's just full body. And if you do not like full body fragrances, you will not like this one. But again, I did not even go in with the notion that um, I could have worn her by herself. That's what I'm trying to say. But I did go in with this Waikiki Beach Coconut Fine Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. And the fragrance notes are tropical white coconut, saltwater breezes, and sun bleached woods. This and this together are really just the epitome of summer. Every time I put this on my skin, I am on vacation mode. And I'm not even on vacation. It just transports me to that place where I feel like I can do it and I can relax and I can just de-stress and just be me because I am smelling this. You see the thing called scent memories? It is a real thing, okay? It is not fabricated at all. I get transported every single time I spray Kaid Alfresan on my skin. Now, to make things even worse, I'm spraying this Waikiki Beach Coconut on the top. What a stunning combination. Boys loved it, the girls loved it, men, babies. I mean, ugh. how amazing is this combination right here? If you wanna be transported to somebody's island and you just don't have the funds to get there, spray this and go in your backyard. You'll be fine. Trust me, you will be transported to somebody's island for real. Now, the final day, which was Mother's Day, which was this past Sunday, um, I went in with this Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. Now, to some people, this is a super sweet, very gourmand fragrance because of the panna cotta note in here. I beg to differ. This one is giving spring because of the citruses, the candied lemons or um, whatever type of citrus is to the top. It is definitely giving zesty and uplifting if you ask me. I love the fact that there are the citruses to the top of this one because that's what I get initially when I first spray it out. It is a heavy dose of citruses in this one. It's mixed with the panna cotta, it's mixed with the rum, it's mixed with the vanilla. I mean, you name it. This is just such a beautiful offering from Dolce & Gabbana. I, I love devotion, okay? Words can't even express. But I wanted to go ahead and be a little bit more um, light with my fragrances. I wanted to smell more feminine, more girly. I wanted to 
um, not really elevate myself in such a way, but I wanted to smell good regardless. So I went ahead and I paired up this bubble gum pop from Bath and Body Works with the Dolce and Gabbana Devotion. The fragrance notes are gumball sugar, candied fruits, and citrus burst. This is such the perfect combination. Don't know how or why I put this together, but I wanted to smell like this on Mother's Day. I wanted my kids to just give me hugs and smell how feminine and girly it is to be a very ultra feminine woman. This is an ultra feminine combo right here. If you want to smell like carefree and um, if you want to smell just like you don't give a damn, put this on and go on about your business. You would love the way this smells. Try this one out. Let me know what you think. It is so super amazing. Dolce & Gabbana Devotion and Bubble Gum Pop is such an amazing ultra feminine combination. Try this one out. Let me know what you think. So you guys, those are some quick combos that I wanted to share with you that had garnered me compliments over the past week. They were absolutely amazing. They're just fitting for the weather. They're just cool, comfy. They're transportive. They are just giving florals and fruit. They're doing all the things for me on my skin and I have been loving them. So with that being said, go ahead and try some of these. Let me know what you think. Let me know some of the combos that you have been using over the past couple of weeks or over the past week. Um, I would love to know what you're using so I can go ahead and try some of them. And with that being said, I love you. Thank you so much for all of you, all of my subscribers, old and new. Thank you, I love you so much. Thank you for joining the family and um, yeah, may God bless you and until another video.